Okay, good morning everybody. Down with a round of coffee and questions. Hopefully you got your coffee. And let's go ahead and start the discussion. So what we were going to talk about today is an easy way by using scrap steel to make yourself a third hand for welding. So what is the purpose of a third hand? Well, sometimes you've got your torch in one hand, you got your gloves on, you're holding something, and you wish you had something just to have that extra holding of like a nut, a bolt, piece of steel or something. You know, you want to hold it in place while you weld it. Well, this is where the third hand comes in, and you can make so many variations to it and tweak it the way that you want. I'm going to show you a few examples of third hands that people have made. They're very easy to make. They become in very handy. Now, what I've done, um, I don't do a ton of welding, but I do a lot of it, and I get a lot of welding questions. I've made these third hands in a variety of patterns or ways, and I throw them on my cart in a box and so when I do need them I can root around find the one that I want because um, I made them on a scrap it didn't cost me anything and they're very easy and straightforward to make so let me change the picture we'll have a discussion about each one and we'll go from there okay let's start by looking at the one on the upper left made out of railroad ties solid bar stock probably a piece of quarter or three eighths you know cold rolled round and mostly scrap. Now, somebody texted me and said, hey, where are you buying your railroad ties from? I buy them off eBay. They run about a buck a piece, depending on the quantity that you want. Now, they last me quite a while, but I use them on a lot of different projects for a lot of different things, anything from coat hangers. I mean, who knows? But I also use them for the third hand because of the weight. You want the weight there. And even if you substituted the middle part of that upper left picture where that round bar stock is, you could take and cut the heads off, let's say, two of these railroad ties, weld them together, then weld it in the middle, and then, you know, add that other little curved piece on there that holds your work down. You will have added the weight to it. So there's more than one way to do these. I mean, just think about it, and you could come up with your own way of doing them also. The same one on the bottom, right over here to my right. Here's another way where the guy used just railroad ties. So you can do that if you want more weight cut the head off, weld it to the top on the back, and you'll keep adding, you know, a decent amount of weight to it, and it'll work. Now look at the one over on the upper far right. This is one for maybe a little bit more delicate kind of projects. You just want to hold them in place. I don't think it has enough weight, but again, you can always add weight by welding, you know, thicker steel onto the back of them. And he used, it looks like quarter inch rod here, and on his grinder, his bench, you can grind things to a point if that's what you want. And on the bottom far right, this is another good one where he used a piece of really thick, and it's a good idea, rebar. You can buy it out at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's like a buck something, a section, or a couple of bucks. And you can actually make two or three, I mean, depending on the length that you buy this rebar. And you can even buy, you know, the little quarter inch solid you know steel pieces out at Lowe's and Home Depot but I try not to buy those kinds of things out there Lowe's Home Depot their steel is very expensive I mean you're much better off going to your steel supplier or somebody like that and then like I always say look in there you know ask them where their cutoffs are you can root around and find all kinds of interesting stuff I mean that you can buy to make these kind of things just out of the scrap bins okay let me change the picture and we'll go to questions. Okay, you can also have some fun, I mean, with this. I mean, you can make them in some weird configurations like the one right above me. I mean, you can make this look like, you know, he's got this big old long penis that's heavy and that point down there will hold down your work. It's just sitting on a piece of scrap steel. But this shows you with a little imagination you can play around and have some fun while you're out in the garage and you can make a little man out of it. It'll work because it's good, heavy, and it'll come down, you know, where it's got some firmness to it. You can also use what's up on the right out at Harbor Freight. I pick up these magnets. I probably got about six or eight of them, you know, out of my welding cart. They come in real handy for a third hand, too. Not something you really have to make, but you can pick them up when they're on sale or use your coupons. Now, on the bottom right, out at Harbor Freight, again, I keep saying Harbor Freight because I can pick up, you know, these vice grips real cheap, and then you can repurpose them. You can weld, it doesn't have to be pretty, but you can make and weld something just like what you see here in this picture. If you got a MIG welder and you got some flat plate steel, you got a bolt, you know, you can make your own little vice grip clamp. I mean, so if you think about it, you can clamp, if you weld this thing on there, you can clamp that to your table 
Now the vice grip becomes a third hand. It'll hold whatever else you want, and you can actually bend and angle and play around with, you know, whatever purposes that you're trying to do. It doesn't have to look like this. You can make them at different angles, you can make different bends, and you can create that clamping. So um, my advice is just get out there and play around with it and have some fun with it. So, all right, questions, and we'll wrap this up. It wasn't meant to be long. It's just a quick shop tip for you and something that hopefully you can go have some fun and make or gives you some ideas on what to do in the future with your other projects. All right, questions. Um, not really a lot of questions. I mean, my advice to you or suggestion is there are a lot of ways to make what they call a third hand when it comes to welding and hand projects. Not just welding. I mean, you could use them in woodworking too, you know, to help hold and secure things. But play around with the ideas. Um, what I'm doing is just giving you ideas and then you can pause and stop and go back and go, you know what, I'm going to make this, but I'm going to make it a little bit differently and you add your own touch to it. But these are ideas for you guys to take forward, go out into your shop, like the one above me, go out and have some fun one day. Nobody's around, who cares? You know, you can make one where the guy's got this big old long penis on there. Bend it, you know, have some fun with it, clean it up with your angle grinder and a flap wheel. Anyway, this is the Home Handyman. I hope you guys got something out of this. Maybe you something that you can use in the future. Give me a thumbs up, click subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.